Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your Wednesday update. I hope y'all are doing well. I want to do uh, just show you a little bit. I know you're coming to ride bicycles and do the take that hill workout of the day, uh, but I just want to show you a little bit about when you ride in this event. What what in the world are you doing it for, right? What's what's the why? Well, th this is part of the why. So uh, these are our this is our manufacturing facility at Purple Heart Homes. Um, these are 320 square foot. Um, veteran tiny homes and uh, all of these are stick built in here we have a manufacturing license um, and they will eventually go to a veteran uh, to help solve a homelessness issue or it may be uh, an emergency response or something like that and so when you ride right this is kind of when you pay your registration fee or or tell people about this, or perhaps you raise a little bit of money through the website, uh, you're helping us uh, make this happen for a veteran. Right? Now, I will tell you real quick, we had a veteran in Mississippi uh, back in the spring that lost his home to a tornado. He was a 90-something-year-old Korean War veteran, and the house that he lived in that was destroyed by this tornado was the house that he was born in, and um, he had nothing left. And, and so in about six weeks, what we were able to do was take one of these, put it on a truck, get it down to Mississippi, put it on a foundation, and he moved into it three days after we got there and he's still living there now. And so um, that's kind of what you're helping us do. So that's the first part of your Wednesday update and why you're riding Take That Hill is that you are helping improve a veteran's life one home at a time. Hey, the second part of the Wednesday update is that when you help Purple Heart Homes, you are helping an organization that was rated, and we just found this out in the last couple of weeks, is one of the nine best charities in America for home repair. Um, it lumped us in the same category with Habitat for Humanity and the Gary Sinise Foundation and you know, rebuilding together. And so we're really excited about that. So that's another really positive thing. When you come out and ride with us, or you come out and do the workout of the day, and you help contribute fuel to this mission, you're helping an organization that has been proven over the last 15 years that's making a difference uh, in America for our veterans and those that have served. So thank you. All right, so let's get down to some nuts and bolts, right? All right, so in the email that you got, um, you, uh, there's a link for the Jack Roo store. If you order, uh, today, which is, uh, September 13th, if you order today on Jack Roo's site, use the code, uh, TTH40, you're going to get 40% off and your kit will be here September the 29th. If you order today, right? And each day you wait, it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, push that delivery date out. Um, and so they're really, they're, unbelievably comfortable kits. You're gonna love them. The purple camo this year, and uh, here's the picture, right? Um, the second thing is, is that the routes are on the event page. I put that in the email as well. We have both the Strava route and the Ride With GPS routes for all three of the In Real Life events. Um, and you can download those to your device. The course will be very clearly marked, very clearly marked with lots of signage and also two with painted arrows on the road, right? So uh, more to follow about that. Uh, and then finally for this week, um, ma'am, we need your help. Uh, need your help getting more people registered. What are we trying to do here? We're trying to build an event that people want to come back to every year. Um, our primary goal is not necessarily funds raised. Our primary goal is that we create an event that provides exposure to uh, four veterans, that honors veterans. We have veterans coming from the Soldier Recovery Unit at Fort Bragg, there's adaptive athletes coming. Uh, we're gonna have a Huey helicopter on site, it sounds like that's about a 90% solution on that. We're gonna have a, a ride of pride trucks from Daimler Chrysler that are all wrapped up in um, veteran focused paint job, if you will. Um, there's just a there's just a lot and what we're trying to do is trying to create an experience for you um, When you're carrying your flag That when you registered for the event or when you do register for the event You're gonna be riding in honor of somebody right and we want to make it a meaningful day for you That's the most important thing to us 
Um, and so we're really thankful. So the way you can help us is invite your friends, right? You just get as many people out to this thing so that, you know, after we do this event for the next five, 10 years, you know, we have 500 people coming to ride it. So I think that's entirely possible, don't you? Yeah. All right. So this is your Wednesday update. Thanks for uh, tuning in as if this was some kind of TV channel. Uh, really appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you October 7th. Three weeks, three weeks from this Saturday. It's all going down and uh, we're going to be excited to see you. So have a great week. I will uh, come back next Wednesday with another update.